everyone. So today I'm going to be unboxing my Fab Fit Fun. Um, so this was my additional box that I bought. So it was $33.99. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't extra shipping, but they do charge um, tax. Um, and it, you do get some stickers. So I do like that. Like, I do have a nephew, like, I get their little, like, girly, but, like, at least, like, you know what, like, stickers are great for, like, kids and even yourself if you're gonna kind of decorate things. Um, they did have, like, um, I guess, like, 30% off with code FABSPRING30 for nutrition.com, nutrition, so it's your like daily vitamins. I've never tried that. They do have like your HelloFresh um, discount. So I will say I do like HelloFresh. Um, like I've kind of gone on and off with them. Um, and they sent like do a survey and get a code. So they're really good for their promo code. So definitely make sure if you are interested in signing them, signing up for it, search Google a promo code for it because then it's really worthwhile and they definitely are kind of nice um and then like i just spoke with their customer service and she was just so like friendly and nice like companies that have like good customer service uh people and just like friendly people that you're dealing with like i want to see that company do well um you have like grow forth so i do like they have a little card and stuff like that because like I have like even from like when Ipsy used to do it they had like you're beautiful pass it on and I just kind of like keep it on my mirror now they don't do some cute ones so I do kind of like a little postcard they do kind of do like a postcard and like, and, like hey sign up for FabFitFun so that's kind of like a cute way of doing it um getting in to my items in my box is for choice one they definitely had a lot of choices i'm not too big of a fan of having so many choices um for round one you could add on additional items for 15 dollars, but it really adds up so they did have a duffel bag for 150 dollars. Oh, why are you spending that much on a duffel bag um and for like not for like a brand name like this is gonna last duffel bag or something like that of like like uh that's just not my price for a duffel bag um they had like uh i'm gonna call it wrong perry comb md like a uh, moisturizer so like they're just like a recognizable kind of brand uh so like i get like them being more expensive sometimes when they have like these companies that like you've never heard of and they're really expensive you're like eh, i don't know how they do so some are good but like they definitely are a good company i'm just not a big fan of moisturizers um you had the short stories led indoor planter which is something cool and like i like for spring um your moreau classic watch and it does look really cute like I wouldn't like wear it but I was like oh that is something cute maybe for my mom um they had a little tray with cut out handles of right there um and that's like $45 and all their items are like definitely more expensive so it's kind of weird that like you have something that's $150 versus $45 in the same category so i wish they did kind of keep their prices a little bit the same you had a tech candy uv sanitizer for 60 and i do feel like you can definitely find some of those like cheaper and things like that you have milk makeups um brightening face mask and serum so i have used their face mask it is nice i had a little bit of issues with their green tea one um but just having it a stick, I really like milk makeup's concept with things. 
Um, you had an umbrella for $40, and who's spending $40 on an umbrella? One gust of wind, that thing's broken. Um, and then you had um, $40 for packing cubes. So again, like such a different price range of things where you're like, some things are like almost like three times the cost. And I got the packing cube. So kind of not really excited for that. Number one, like <laughs> I'm in Canada, so we're not allowed traveling. So this is just like rubbing salt into the wound a little. Number two is I have like three sets of these already because like it's been in two boxes already, I feel. If not three, like this might be the fourth box it's in, like hold up. So definitely disappointed that like they're just trying to get rid of things like that's what your edit sale box is for I will let my saltiness go in the edit sale where it's kind of your favorites I don't think it should be in your regular seasonal box like it's just kind of like ugh. and for like such like so many different items like you had like nine different items in one category like that adds a lot. Did you need to come in here? Hello, friend. I have a little puppy. Here. Look, there's a space for you. Okay, no. Whatever you need to do. He's not a puppy, but he's little. Um, so my item two, you had our place like lunch containers and like Cosbox already kind of did like a bento box so I was like eh um billion dollar brow brush set I can never say no to some brushes like these are just like my eyeshadow brushes um and billion dollar brow I do find like nice brushes I haven't had like an issue for like the couple that I've tried um you have Josie Moran, the pure organ, uh, argon oil, which is like $49 and it's a little expensive, but it is a nice product. You can just probably maybe get it cheaper elsewhere. Um, you have splendid, uh, faux fur slippers in crystal pink. You had, um, Gillum ultimate core toning kit so kind of some exercise equipment um still steel mill and co uh to do planner and again this is another one where like what's the point of planning things COVID just destroys it all right now so like i get like other areas like in the states you're more open up i'm definitely in like we're still kind of like in a lockdown um and that so what's the point of planning things i don't need a planner but um i do think like that would have been like a cute one normally um mac cosmetic powder kiss lipstick duo i don't really i'm not a biggest fan of lipstick um what i did end up getting is the slippers i probably won't use them like i'm not a big slipper person um, I guess they're kind of cute and on trend of like that little crossover. Like if I'm going to wear a slipper, I want them like up to my feet, cozy, maybe a little like cute. Like this, I just don't see the point in, but that's just my personal preference of things. Um, and then how much were those? And then like $40 for those? No. Um, at least in Canada, we have like our dens where you can get slippers for like 10, slippers for like 10 bucks, Walmart. Like there's nothing really kind of special and nice about these that really make it worthwhile. Even like just some of like the finishing isn't like cute and the greatest I would say like it has a nice like heel with it but like not worth $50 hi buddy um going into item three 
is you had an eye serum for $85, Alice and Olivia. Nope. Uh, for so skincare. So like skincare, I'm never really upset about because I think it's good. You have Alice and Olivia, the reversible bucket hat. Oh, I feel like this is like, I get it springy. I don't think people should wear bucket hats. I must your child, but I do like that it matches with the bag. That is kind of cute. My personal, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear a bucket hat. Um, you had from Joy Bravely, uh, the Chloe ring. Um, uh, from Bloomingville, you have your woven, um, seagrass coasters, which are kind of cute. Like, my family just doesn't use coasters, so I want to get, like, the use out of it. Um, but for some of those, like, Instagram pictures of, like, still enjoying life, they'd be kind of, uh, cute for. And then you have Gloss Modern, um, Clean Luxury Hair Mask. I always like hair products. What I got was the ring, and this is $75. And this, I don't know, like, I have to kind of open up the bag without damaging it. So it fits um, ring sizes six to kind of eight. So again, it's like a little bit limited. I don't find rings necessarily the best option. I can't even get it out of a plastic bag. Plastic bag broke. That's never a good sign of like, like, yeah, like it's in a plastic bag. So for $75, I would like a nice organza bag. Oh my God. So that's a useless bag. Uh, Like, just kind of showing it. So I guess like it can work for like different sizes, but I just feel like it just really like looks a little cheap. I guess it like is always kind of considered costume jewelry. Like there's nothing to the back. So the color kind of shows whatever like your flesh color would be with it. <sighs> oh, I'm not paying $75 for that. So like that's just yeah. Like I really wish they would stop doing jewelry because that's such like a like a choice thing and they really don't pick things that are universally kind of nice like it's gold I feel like gold's kind of one of those like out like maybe if you're a rose gold even like just some things that are more people's preferences so womp 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 to that Uh, yes, yeah, so life's hard. And then, so your annual members got to, so if you are seasonal and annual, you got to pick from your first three options. Um, if you didn't add on your box like I did, um, or like as this one is, um, your annual members did get to pick four and five so I do think it's worthwhile to be annual because it does work out to be like a little bit cheaper and whatnot um so you had from Sorbus a makeup organizer if I didn't have a <laughs> crazy makeup addiction where like this wouldn't fit enough of my stuff definitely something cute um 
it's for the average person like something nice something cool right all like your little fabfit fun items can go in it from Avea you have their refreshing facial uh cleansing gel for 24 um Lorenzo your neuro like oh gonna so butcher that is your sea mud deep cleansing bar which i haven't tried i've tried one of their face masks and they're not like too bad you have larkin ives uh hair scarf bundle for 30 which again like hair scarves for 30 dollars what a little too much in my opinion um grown alchemist your body cream and mandarin for 26 so like they're definitely more expensive um but they are like a little bit more on the clean side so that's not too bad you have your elmas papaya peel and they have kind of done like um i don't know if they've done like the facial cleanser multiple times but definitely like grown alchemist and elmas they've had before so of course i got one of those repeats so it is Elmas papaya peel it is a nice product so at least that i'm not too disappointed in and it is 45 dollars, so it's more of one of the expensive ones as an option so that is nice um for five you have pure cosmetic icon glow illuminating face and body dry oil um you have camp collections um tie-dye dip uh market tote you have coco floss tropical trio so floss dental floss your summer and rose rose tweezers with a pouch and your h halston aloe infused um gel socks gel line socks and pumice stone so i have tried um those like aloe socks before you can't really like walk in them but if you're just kind of like or like they recommend kind of like not walking in some of them because like they are a little gushy and slip but they are something cool to like wear at night um and i do think it helps a little with dry feet um what i got was pure cosmetics dry oil and i already kind of put like a drop of it so like pure cosmetics is supposed to be like a little bit cleaner i don't know why they say it's a dry oil because it definitely feels like oily on my skin like and the glitter isn't really that cute in it like it's definitely like it's micro fine glitter ish but it's kind of like that gold with like a little bit of more of that like halo effect so it's definitely kind of more like crafty maybe a little bit more strippery glitter than what i would kind of put on my body of like a nice glow so uh, not too excited for that one um my option six is you had each jewels flower hair clips which kind of like a lot of like those different hair clips have become a trend your human and kind hand scrub um and then you did get earth harbors marina bio brightening serum i did get the human and kind hand scrub so that was great because i definitely have like a little bit of a dry spot just like using so much hand um hand sanitizer uh, i could definitely do with like a nice scrub moisturize my hands with it being kind of like that spring to winter it's a nice one to kind of get again 30 dollars for like hair clips like that like if you're kind of into some of those things like check out those teeny bopper stores like it just depends on how you style it you can definitely get things for cheaper because thirty dollars for that i'd be like what are you doing <laughs> don't do that um item seven is you had the sf sf 
glow sun pout sun's out pouts out lip mask um pinky skies cucumber sip cup um cali cosmetic body wash what does it have sorry they have some like so it has shipping restrictions so probably when it come to canada or like when it has to fly over things it wouldn't really do um so what i got was ooh, the um cactus cup so this was the item along with the hand scrub <laughs> like those are the two items that i was kind of like excited for in it so i hope i get a second one because i just think it's cute for like spring summer like just kind of taking those pictures with sorry if you hear dogs barking in the back they're rude um eight you had um days reusable beauty rounds so those are becoming a trend so i like like that's something like trendy and new and then nails ink polish in mayfair lane so i did get the nail polish which like it's just a pink nothing so exciting about that so my other items have shipped i didn't do too many um add-ons just because i have been finding um so it's a nice flat brush it's kind of like a nice neutral kind of pink color will definitely take at least two coats um but i have found like a lot of repeats on some of their items and like prices have just kind of gone up for some of the things whereas me not as a good of a deal as it was before and then just have to get through and use some things so i just want to test a second coat of the nails ink so you probably could if you let it properly dry get away with one coat so an okay like springy color to get i generally take off the little white cap because you like you it's hard to kind of turn with it and you'll probably end up breaking these but it comes off nice and easy so that was um my 39 dollar option i definitely try and stick to like none of the items was i was like oh those are really cool extra ones like I'm really starting to dislike all the options so you're like I'm probably gonna get like the products I don't want so I wish they did a little less like um choices and like if you are gonna do choices like I should be able to pick all of them um because it really like ends up being like I liked two out of my eight items and a lot of like repeats of previous items where like I want FabFitFun so I can try new things right um I rather like some products that you had before go in the like add-ons would be like what I would kind of like and that um I would still kind of keep my FabFitFun um and i do think like your annual membership's a little bit better it is just kind of getting a little bit more expensive up there so like hopefully summer's just amazing right like they go a little bit down and then they'll be like wow for their awesomeness so sorry if it was a little complainy like uh like i still think like that's just like my opinion so <laughs> And I, I thoroughly enjoy to complain, but like not knocking things like you might like something and that is perfectly okay. Cause I definitely know like there's things people hate. And I was like, I love it. Right. Like I think the cactus cup in some things were things where people who are like, that's horrible. 
and I was like oh I'm so excited I hope I get it so now I have to hope that I get two because like I just feel like little matching pairs are always kind of nicer so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you have a great day bye